Good morning, this is Kelo Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Sioux Falls Police are investigating a shooting that occurred early Wednesday morning. Just before 2 o'clock, officers responded to the Whittier neighborhood for a report of gunshots. Officers found a person in the road who'd been shot and had other injuries. The person is in the hospital in critical condition. At last report, police had not made an arrest. A Valley Springs man is dead after a motorcycle crash in Sioux Falls early morning yesterday. Police had happened at the intersection of East Benson Road and North Sycamore Avenue around 1 a.m. The 35-year-old rider was found dead when authorities arrived. Police say the motorcycle was southbound when it lost control at the intersection and hit a parked car. Speed is believed to be a factor in the crash, but it's still under investigation. A Lamar's Iowa man is behind bars accused of attacking someone in their home. The Plymouth County Sheriff's Office says deputies were called to the home around 640 Wednesday night. Authorities say 39-year-old Chase Roy Conkle had burglarized the home earlier in the day and then came back and assaulted someone, causing serious injuries. Authorities found him at home and made an arrest. Conkle is facing a list of charges, including domestic assault and strangulation. He is being held on a $25,000 bond. Now let's get a check on today's weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. All right. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, everybody. Following rain this morning in central and eastern South Dakota, this will continue to move to the east. We'll have sunshine this afternoon. Temperatures warming to the 80s for highs. It will not be as humid as what we had yesterday in eastern and southeastern Kettleland. North winds help bring in some drier air. Another round of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow in western South Dakota. Some of those may make their way in the central and south central Kettleland. The land. I'll have more details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. The rain in the forecast this weekend could cause problems for the Midwest President's Cup in Sioux Falls. The event's organizers are confident that the fields in Yankton Trail Park can take on rain, but lightning might be an issue. If lightning is within 10 uh, miles of the facility, matches would be uh, suspended. Spectators and uh, players would be directed to go to their vehicles. For every strike of lightning, uh, it's a 30 minute delay. And uh, off of that, we would then have to determine whether um, games could be resumed. We've attached a link for you to keep up with any weather delays to this story on Kelloland.com. The Rapid City Parks and Recreation Department kicked off the first of three hydrant parties at Sioux Park. These events are a collaboration involving the Public Library Bookmobile, the Fire and Police Departments, and Sanitation. All hydrant parties are free for all in the public to get outside, run around the open park, and have some water fun in the heat. You know, the saying, it takes a village, right? Like all parts of all parts of the city working together to make everything good for, for the kids and for the communities. And, and if we can make all good things out of it, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do it together. Parks and Rec will hold two more hydrant parties later this summer, with one in July and the last in August. Mosquito season is here, and the city of Sioux Falls is starting to spray and test them for viruses. Dominic Miller, the environmental health manager for Sioux Falls, says part of their job is preventing more mosquitoes from breeding. Obviously, this, the spraying part is working, but it's, it's really that, that day work that they're doing from 8 to 4.30 that they're out um, treating those areas where mosquitoes are breeding and uh, eliminating them be, before they become adults. So far this year, the team has not found any mosquitoes testing positive for West Nile. It's just a matter of time until they do. To find out which zone you live in and to get alerts on spray schedules, we provide a link with this report right here on Kelloland.com. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one final look at our weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. All right.